Hi and welcome to SkyTech Gaming's troubleshooting series. My name is Chris and in this episode, we are going to troubleshoot your no video issue. Let's get started. All right, first thing to check is your HDMI display cable. It should not be plugged into the motherboard. It should be plugged in directly onto your graphics card as that's where the primary signal for the video is going to be. Also, if you are using your own HDMI cable, make sure that there are no pins or any frays on the cable itself or any of its connections. In this next step, we are going to reseat your memory module. And to do this, we need to remove the side glass panel of your system. Now, depending on what model you have, you might have those two screws that are holding it in place right here or four right on the face of the glass. Just remove them, slide the glass backwards, and set it aside. On top of each memory module is a latch that locks them into place. Simply flip them upwards to dislodge the memory modules and slowly pull on it and remove them from their slot. Before installing the memory modules, make sure you take note of the orientation. Installing the modules back in the system is as simple as lining them up on their corresponding slots and giving both ends a firm press until it clicks into place. Plug everything back in and power on the system to check for functionality. If the system is still exhibiting the same symptom, power off the system, unplug it, and we'll proceed to reseating the graphics card. First step to reseating the graphics card is to disconnect power. Simply press on the connector and slowly pull outwards. Next, we are going to remove the two screws that holds the card in place and one screw in the case that holds the panel. Your graphics card is also held on by a latch at the end of the PCIe slot. Here, I am using a small flat plastic tool to press it down and release the card. Gently pull on the card to get it out of the case. To reinstall it back in the system, simply follow the steps in reverse. Once again, power on the system and check for functionality. Alright, hopefully these steps resolved your issue. If not, please do not hesitate to get in touch with our support team. They are ready to assist you further and get your system issues sorted out. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click that little bell icon so you will be notified of our future videos and content such as weekly deals, product updates, tech news, and of course, more troubleshooting videos. This is Chris, and I'll see you on the next one.